What's up everyone? So in the first video exploring the Databricks CLI, we went over installing and configuring the Databricks CLI. With clusters being the heart of Databricks, this video will focus on the commands for clusters. So we actually ended the last video that gave a current list of clusters, but let's take that from the beginning and create a cluster and go from there. So the first thing we can do is to create a cluster is do the Databricks clusters and all the subsequent now the following commands are going to follow these this kind of pattern here we do create and we need to give it some some configuration here and, and it's going to be in json and close that in quotes to give it a proper json format here uh, first thing it needs is a cluster name and i'm going to just say cli cluster and then we give it a spark version and let's see 5.3 and then we give it a node type ID Now we tell the num number of workers is two. So let that run here. And we have a cluster ID. So it created a cluster. So now we can use the database clusters list command. So we had a previous cluster of demo, but so here's our cluster that we created here. And currently it's pending. And just like it gave us up here, we have the cluster ID. So I'm going to copy that because we're going to need it for other stuff. And what we can do next, clusters, we can get information on that specific cluster. And we just pass in the cluster ID. And we receive uh, a JSON format of response here. And get it still state still pending, and we have a list of tags on it and all that. Another way to retrieve the ID if you don't have it handy through the command line here is to go to the database UI and click on the cluster URL here. You got the cluster ID right there, so you can get that whenever you need to. So another thing we can do with the CLI for clusters is that we can uh, restart the cluster. Actually, I'm going to let's wait until this starts up so we can make sure that it actually restarts for us. All right, so our cluster is now running. So what I can do next is I can use the restart command to restart the cluster. So that completed. So let's look at it here and we see it's already restarted in the state. All right, so now that this is running again, I'm going to stop this. And then the next command that I'm going to run is the Databricks clusters start to start the cluster. So we can go back. There you go, started, now it's pending again. And so that started back up, and a couple of things we can do to help clean up our, our clusters here is that we can run Databricks, clusters, delete with the cluster ID. And now this doesn't actually delete the actual cluster. What this does is that it terminates the cluster. So it just makes, stops it from running. If you want to actually delete the, the cluster itself uh, permanently, you just run the permanent delete command. I spelled it wrong. Here we go. You see here, boom, now that cluster is gone. So you can see how well clusters command in the CLI helps to pretty much uh, automate everything you need to do with clusters. Alright, so that's 
it for this video. Uh, of course, uh, if you liked it and got some use out of it, feel free to give the video a like. And if you want to see more videos, definitely subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.